Now we need to multiply a four digit number by a two digit number using long multiplication. So we start by multiplying our ones digits. Two times four is eight. Now six times four is 24, but that's a two digit number. So we need to write 24 as two, four. Eight times four is 32, plus two is 34. So that's three, four. And now three times four is 12, plus three is 15. And we don't have any more digits to the left, so we can write the 15 in our answer line. So now we need to cross out our working and write a zero in our second answer line. Because now for our second answer line, we're going to multiply by this three, but this three is in our tens, so we need a zero in our ones. Two times three is six. Six times three is 18, so that's one eight with the first digit above the next digits that we're going to multiply. Eight times three is 24, plus one is 25, so that's two, five. And now three times three is nine, plus two is 11. We don't have any more digits to the left, so we can write the 11 in our answer line. So now we just need to add up our answer lines to get our answer. Eight plus zero is eight, 4 plus 6 is 10, so 1, 0. 1 plus 4 plus 8 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 5 plus 5 is 11, so 1, 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and nothing plus 1 is 1. So our answer is 131,308. So now we have 4,781 times 23. 1 times 3 is 3, 8 times 3 is 24, so 2, 4, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23, so that's 2, 3. And now 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. We don't have any more digits to the left, so we can write 14 in our answer line. Now we can cross out our working and write a zero as the last digit of our second answer line, because we're going to multiply by this two that's in our tens. What we could do here, if it's confusing, is to cross out the three as well, because we've already multiplied by three on our first answer line. But now one times two is two, eight times two is 16, so that's one six, with the first digit above the next digit that we're going to multiply. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15, so that's 1, 5. And now 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we can add up our answer lines, and that gives us 109,963 as our answer. Now 5,967 times 61. 7 times 1 is 7. 6 times 1 is 6, 9 times 1 is 9, and 5 times 1 is 5. Now we need to remember to write our 0, we don't have any working to cross out, so now 7 times 6 is 42, so 4, 2. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 is 40, so that's 4, 0. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 4 is 58, so 5, 8. And finally, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 5 is 35. Again, we just need to add up our answer lines, and that gives us our answer, 363,987.